Hello everybody and welcome back to another game of Popper. We are playing some Gold Gary Dead Dog and we've got a four land hand here. We are on the draw. Gosh, I feel like we can do better than this. Yikes. A one lander. We do have Hume Spitter. Oh dear, our opponent's gone to five. Uh, uh, hmm. What do we do? What do we do? Because we can, if we just get a green source, we're, we're, we're kind of good to go, but, ah. Oh, this is worse. But I think I'm going to keep it and hope for the best. Yeah, I should have kept the six. Opponent's not doing much better, so. <laughs> Looks like their hand's probably not great either. Oh man. Alright, well, yeah, I'm I'm I think I'm still gonna keep this. Hopefully we get our black source, but yeah, the six land hand would have been way better. Opponent's gone down to four. Looks like we're in for a pretty crazy game of magic here. Oh man, they went to three and kept Oh! <laughs> there's the swamp! Oh my god. All right. <clears throat> okay, here's a Grave Scrabbler. Uh, <laughs> we can do this, guys. <laughs> we can do this. There we go. Here's a River Boa. Okay. Stompy time. Land? Oh, it's a land! <laughs> We're doing okay, guys. We're doing okay. We can we can function now. We can do this. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, 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 alright. We can do this, we can do this. Arrogant worm, okay. Well, Let's go with the Vampire Hounds. That'll block the River Boa. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Is he going to attack with this? He is. I guess I'll block it. Oh, he can regenerate though, eh? Yeah, that's a little frustrating. Yeah, that was definitely a misplay on my part. Yeah, this might just be enough, though. That was a good three-card hand. <laughs> oh. And? Does he have a play? Uh, I'm going to stop on my turn. Do I want to dredge? My only chance here is getting a fume spitter, right? But even if I do dredge here, I'll be kind of stuck. Though I will gain some life. I guess I might as well just draw. There's crypt rats. Boo. I guess I should lead the Stampede. Yeah, I should not have blocked. What is this guy doing, though? He's really slow. Alright, let's lead. I'm not going to play anything this turn, but... Hopefully this will be able to find us something to deal with a river boa. There it is. So I will take all of these. Thank you. We'll take another six, but that'll be about it. Uh, 
and we will be stabilizing at a pretty low life total. <laughs> Triple ranker, come on. <laughs> oh boy. <sighs> yeah, hopefully this fume spitter does it. Another land would be good. Ah, there we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, so even if we have the... Oh, yeah, it's going to be close. We need this fume spitter to do its thing. Oh, no, I can still play the Vampire Hounds, though, and survive an attack. Oof. Gosh, he did have it. My god. Yep, yeah, that river bow is is gonna do it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, good grief. Yeah, no, there's just no way. Well, <laughs> that happened. That sure happened. Let's bring in the spore frogs. Let's bring in stink weeds, I guess. Ah, uh, Stinkweed's not that good. Cook rats might be fine. Um, let's go down the carrion feeders, I think. And uh, maybe one rootwalla. And go with that. So I'm assuming this is Stompy. Man, yeah, we really missed our chance there. Shouldn't have blocked with the, uh, should not have blocked with the Vampire Hounds in, right into the regeneration. First match of the day, kind of rusty. Maybe we do want these Stinkweed Imps. Uh, let's see, what could we take out? I guess we could take out another Root Wallow, bring in a Stinkweed Imp. And uh, just because it, it uh, gets our dredging going... I guess we can cut down on one fume spitter. I mean, most of their threats are not that, uh, not that soft to it. So we will play first. We can keep that. Not much action, but we've got a tortured resistance. We got fume spitters and spore frogs. Most of our engines all set to go. No need to run out the tortured existence right away. Opponents also kept a 7. Opponent. Korean Ranger. Alright, I will happily Fume Spitter that. Very good Fume Spitter target. Ooh, there's a Moldervine Cloak. It's actually pretty good. Um, so I could just go Jungle Hollow Fume Spitter as well. Though I guess not much of a point. Could just as well have played the Spore Frog and gone aggro with the Moldervine Cloak. <laughs> Alright, let's just kill that thing. Ledgewalker. Okay. We need some threats. Moldervine Cloak's a good start. So let's run out the Tortured Existence. And we can play the uh, Root Walla for free on their end step with Tortured Existence for Fume Spitter. Right, so... Let's play the Spore Frog, and we will pass the turn. Nest Invader. That's a good one. Gets in for one, yep. Go ahead and get this guy. Discarding this. If 
for free, get our fume spitter back. Hello. What's next? Oh, the forest, eh? Hmm. All right. I think we're just going to run out the uh, spitter. Jumps. Yep. Okay. Boa. Okay. Okay, we'll take three. Uh, let's try it. No more hungers, please. <clears throat> Feels like a trick. <laughs> Hopefully it's not. It's not. All right. Oh, okay. We can still race that pretty well, especially if we draw gas. <laughs> So we can attack for seven here. Looks like that's what we're doing. Gonna hold on to these cards in my hand that are not doing very much. Oh my goodness. All right, there we go. The only problem is if they can keep playing creatures. So they're hitting for six. Or they're holding back. Nope. Okay, they're going in. Nope. Holding back. All right. So we're taking four. There's the arrogant worm. That's pretty good. Do you have a trick for this, or? Nope, just gonna let it die. Um, yes, yeah, so I've got exactly four mana for the Torture Resistance for Arrogant Worm and Fume Spitter. I guess we're good to go. Ranger, that'll die. Can get this, whoops. Uh, this back, discard the worm. Triple green. There's wormy. And we should be winning this race here. Alright, ground scale. Let's play the spitter. This should uh, really put me out of the. Well, now I've got the Sport Frog Brown Scale Tortured Existence lock, so. Even if he is, yeah, okay, very good. Yeah, I'd probably do want these Stinkweed Imps. Hmm, what do I take out? Maybe one Fume Spitter, and, um... I already took out a Rootwalla. Maybe I do take out another, though. Yeah, I guess it's two root wallas. Let's do it. Okay, well, we got Spore Frog, we got Lead the Stampede, we got Crypt Rats. We got a good control hand. Hopefully, it'll work out. Oof. Another cloak. Alright, that'll be useful later, I guess. Shingo Spore Frog Rot Farm. Burning Tree. Yeah, Crypt Rats for two is going to be pretty nasty against them. 
It's a nest invader. Yep, yeah, pretty nasty. And you know what? I can even uh, put Moldervine Cloak on Crypt Rats. Wouldn't that be hilarious? <laughs> oh, boy. Let's pick this up. Pass the turn. We're taking six. Then we fog, play Crypt Rats. Wow. That is so much damage. Uh, do I want to block the Eldrazi spawn? <laughs> I mean, I could get really greedy, but that's probably not a good idea. Oh yeah, please, overextend. Mmm. <laughs> okay, here's a Fume Spitter. Fume Spitter. I could just go Swamp Crypt Rats and then just wipe their board. Next turn. Yeah, that's probably what, what I want to do. Wipe for two. Pretty has a trick, but I can't do much about that. I guess we'll get him for some damage. So finds a vast word on the nettle, okay. So this guy survives. I'll play my jungle hollow. Go up to 10, then go down to six. It's gonna be a close one. Brown scale blocks the nettle pretty well. Ooh, he just passes. Okay, good. Um, so let's go up to seven. Now we can play Brown Scale and Fume Spitter. That'll block the Nettle Sat at least and gain me some life in the future. Let's Fume Spitter. This last match, at least, has been pretty cool. Opponents flooded. Oh, they play the vines to untap their guy. Um, I guess I might as well shrink it while I can. Definitely got a block. Down to three. Are we dredging? I think so. So that's it. We've got kind of an interesting scenario here where we can choose to dredge and then go up to five and have a two three that can, you know, on the face trade with Nettle Sentinel. Or we can potentially draw a discard outlet which we have 12, 
It's a quarter of our deck right now. <laughs> so one in four chance of drawing a discard outlet. Um, if it's the um, if it's the hounds, we just play for three mana, and then we've got a free basking root walla and a gray scrabble that can get back the fume spitter. If we have a um, if it's torture existence, we play it for one swamp, activate it, or we can yeah, or we can just get the brown scale go up to five. And if we don't draw our discard outlet, we um, still have Basking Root Wall or Moldervine Cloak, which is a 4-4, which doesn't die to Nettle Sentinel. I think we are just going to draw... Okay, there's the discard outlet. Now we just need to cast it. Um, so now that means that I can pay 2, play the, root, uh, play the Mongrel... Discard the Grave Scrabbler, and then get back Fume Spitter, cast it, kill the Nettle Sentinel, right? And we also get a free Basking Root Walla, if we need it. So we can start turning this game around. We'd also get back Spore Frog, but I think getting back the Fume Spitter is a little bit better right now. And now we're even developing quite a board. Pitskulk, okay. Gonna play the Rancor on it right away, yep, okay. I still don't feel like I'm in a position where I, I really wish I had a tortured existence. This would make my life so much easier. So I don't think we can dredge. I mean, we can. It's a really tough call. No, I don't think we dredge. Okay, a swamp. I don't think I can attack with my wild mongrel. So I think the play here... I have six mana as well. Let's start with lead the stampede. See what we get. Can't get a tortured existence with this, but it does fill up my hand, which lets me potentially block this pit skulk, right? All right, that's a really good draw. Double arrogant worm, crypt rats, stinky. We're doing good. All right, and this uh, crypt rats is actually going to be able to deal with their board. So now I guess I just play the Mold of Cloak on the Gray Scrabbler and attack. Or maybe I should play it safe, but and play it on the Wild Mongrel. Yeah, I guess we do that. That way they really can't just get through. It's a 5-5, five, five, and I can pump it up a ton, and I can still get in with the Grave Scrabbler here. Next turn I dredge the brown scale to go up to five life crypt rats for one kill the pit skulk all right it just sucks because i could have been getting in for five with the grave scrabbler but just the fact that this thing hmm okay there's a the removal which means I'm going to have to... Pump up my Mongrel. Now. I can discard my entire hand if they have a uh, Vines of Vastwood. Just to survive. Uh, 
trample. Okay, now I can block this. Oh boy, this is scary. Gonna discard Stinky, try and keep my Mongrel. Okay. Oh, another one. <laughs> and he puts it right on, eh? Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm actually gonna dredge the Moldervine cloak. Or you know what? No, I can just I can just crypt rats here. So let's gain some life. The brown scale. Okay, we some lands, that's fine. So I would like to be able to keep oh no I I can't cast a, an Arrogant Worm after this anyway, so I might as well pay for the Basking Root Wall activation. Get in for a lot. Please be out of creatures. Oh, good grief. Yep, of course you do. Well, he's at seven, though. He's got a block. Is he just dead? Let's say I get back Moldervine Cloak. I played on the Grave Scrabbler. That's now 5-5. Five, five. He's got to block that. And then I can still pump the Basket Wheel to 3, and that's 4-5, and then I can discard 2 cards, and that's 7. Let's get back the Moldervine Cloak. This card's been awesome. Let's play it on the Scrabbler. Got zero cards in hand. Oh, they can block two creatures. What am I... I'm stupid. <laughs> Still, I mean, he's left with no creatures left, and um, neither of these can kill any of my creatures. No blocks. You're just dead on board, then? Yep. All right. Yeah, we turned that game around pretty well with uh, Crypt Rats, so... Jeez, yeah, don't overextend into the black deck, <laughs> I guess. Boy, that was a frustratingly long game for no reason. Um, but this guy was having some connection issues. But uh, otherwise, yeah, we kind of punted in that first match. We probably could have won if I hadn't blocked with the Vampire Hounds. Well, well, I still won, so lesson learned, I guess. <laughs> Again, first match of the day, kind of rusty. Sorry about that. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. We'll see you next time.